Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio and welcome to the 10th tutorial of the 3D Low Poly Game Modeling for Beginners series. In this tutorial, we will be modeling a character. Before we begin, we need to turn on an add-on in Blender. So go into your user preferences and open the add-on tabs and then we want to look for mesh loop tools and make sure that you have a check mark there then go ahead and save your user settings and go back to your 3D view change your renderer to cycles Go into out orthographic view, which is 5 on the numpad, and front view, which is 1 on the numpad, and tab into edit mode. Hit X and delete your cube, and add a UV sphere with Shift A, go into wireframe mode with Z, and deselect everything with your A key. using box select which is just B on your keyboard select the bottom half of the UV sphere and delete it and then using box select again select the left side of the UV sphere and delete it go back into solid mode with Z and select the remaining part of the UV sphere with your L key Open up your modifier tab, click on add modifier, and choose mirror. Make sure that you turn on clipping under options. This will prevent the center seam here from ripping apart. Go into edge mode with control tab, and select the bottom edge loop of the UV sphere. Just hold Alt and right click. Then use the manipulator and move the bottom edge down the Z axis about two blender units. Then extrude the edge loop along the Z axis E, Z, negative 1.5. And then fill in this bottom edge loop with a face using your F key. Add two horizontal loop cuts to the bottom section of the body, Control R. Left click only once. Then scale the loops along the Z axis, S, Z, 0.5. Then use the manipulator and move these loop cuts up along the Z axis until the top edge loop sits just below the already existing edge loop. Go into face mode with control tab and right side view which is 3 on the numpad. Then select the four center faces between the edge loops that we just made and duplicate them with shift D. Now we need to convert the faces into a circle. So hit your W key loop tools and circle go into front view which is one on the numpad and use the manipulator and move the duplicated faces along the x-axis extrude the face along the x-axis e x 1.5 then select the entire arm with your L key make a copy with shift D and move it down along the Z axis so it's below the body make sure you deselect everything with your A key then select the arm again with your L key 
and rotate it around the y-axis 45 degrees. R, Y, 45. Then use the manipulator and move the arms back onto the body. Make sure that the top part of the arm is the same height as the top of the edge loop that we had made. Select the leg with your L key and rotate it around the Y axis 90 degrees. R, Y, 90. Then use a manipulator and move the leg along the X axis until it's in place. Go into edge mode with control tab and add two horizontal loop cuts to the leg, control R, left click only once, then scale the edge loops along the z-axis, S, Z, point two. Now add another horizontal loop cut with control R to the bottom portion of the leg, left click only once, and then slide the loop cut down till it's about two tenths of a blender unit from the bottom of the leg. Go into face mode with control tab. Then select the five faces that make up the front half of the leg on the very bottom. Go into right side view, just three on the numpad and extrude the faces along the y-axis E, Y, negative 0.5 Go into front view which is 1 on the numpad and edge mode with control tab then add a loop cut to the center of the arm with control R then add a second loop cut with control R and left click only once then slide the loop towards the first loop cut until they're about a tenth of a blender unit apart make sure you're still in front view with one on the numpad add two horizontal loop cuts to the upper part of the body control R left click only once Scale the loop cuts along the z-axis, S, Z, point two. Then use the manipulator and move the loop cuts up along the z-axis until they're about three-tenths of a blender unit below the hairline. Add two more horizontal loop cuts below the loop cuts that we just made left click only once then scale the loop cuts along the z-axis S, Z, 0.7 then use a the manipulator and move these loop cuts up along the z-axis until they're about a tenth of a blender unit below the loop cuts that we just made Now add two more horizontal loop cuts with control R below these loop cuts. Left click only once. Then scale the loops along the Z axis, S, Z, point one. Then use the manipulator and move these loop cuts down along the Z axis until they're about four tenths of a blender unit above the loop cut that defines the torso area. Go into face mode with control tab and choose the three faces at the top of the face area between the loop cuts that we made, these very top loop cuts. Go into the right side view, just three on the numpad and extrude the faces along the Y axis. E, Y, negative, point one. Go back into front view with one on the numpad. Then choose the two center faces, skipping this actual center one, 
between these loop cuts that we made the second time. Then make a duplicate of them with Shift D. Then convert these faces into a circle. Hit your W, Loop Tools, Circle. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad. And extrude the faces along the Y axis. E, Y, negative 0 0.05. Go back into front view, which is one on the numpad. And edge mode with control tab. Choose the center loop cut that's down here at the bottom of the face area above these two edge loops that we made that are just above the torso area. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad. Then use the manipulator and extrude these edges along the Y axis about two tenths of a blender unit. Then we want to add two horizontal loop cuts below the nose between these two loop cuts. And go into face mode with control tab and front view. And choose the three faces in the center, including the very center face. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad, and extrude the faces along the Y axis, E, Y, negative 0.05. Make sure that you're in the right side view with, with three on the numpad. Then select the four center faces that are essentially in line with the nose and the eye. Duplicate the faces with Shift D and convert the faces into a circle. W, Loop Tools, Circle. Then scale the ears, S.7. Then scale the ear along the Y axis, S, Y.5. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad and extrude the ear along the x-axis, E, X, point one. Then what we want to do is select the faces above and below the mouth and in front of the ear. Then go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad, and extrude the faces, E.1. Now open the material tab. Click on the plus button and the new button and rename this skin and give the skin a peach color. I'm using the hex code of FFE0BD. Select the entire model and apply the skin material to the entire model. Click on the plus button and the new button. Name this material Jeans. Give it a blue color using the hex code 283FE7. And apply the material to the legs.
click on the plus button and the new button and rename this material shoes and give it a dark gray color I'm using the hex code of 363636 and apply the material to the shoes Click on the plus button and the new button and name this material shirt and give it a green color. I'm using the hex code 67A871. Then assign the material to the arms above the elbow and to the torso. Click on the plus button and the new button and name this material face and give it a black color I'm using the hex code of all zeros. And assign the material to the mouth and the eyes. And click on the plus button and the new button and name this material hair and give it a orangey color I'm using the hex code CD3A00 and assign the material to the eyebrows and the beard. And there's your very simple low poly character. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.